Today we're learning about whole numbers and their equivalent fractions. Now often, when you think of a fraction, you probably think of it somewhere between two whole numbers. But more recently, you've been learning that we can write whole numbers such as 0, 1, or 2 using a fraction. Today, your goal is to get confident doing this. And first, I want you to watch how I label the whole numbers on this number line using fractions. Well, the first thing I try to figure out is what each of these dashes represents. Well, if I look at just one whole of the number line, I can see that it's made up of one, two pieces. So each of these are a half. Now, once I know the number line is showing halves, I just start labeling. Right here at zero, well, that's zero halves. The next dash, it's one half. And after that, we get to one whole. But as a fraction, it's just another half. It's two halves. And then we have three halves and four halves, which we can see as two holes. Then we get to five halves and finally six halves, which we see is the same as three holes. So there we have it. We finished this problem. We've labeled the whole numbers using fractions. Now let's practice one of these together. Let's use fractions to label the whole numbers on this number line. Remember that our first job is to figure out what fraction each dash of the number line represents. Well, what fraction is each dash? Well, if you look at just one whole, you can see it's been split up into four pieces. So each of these dashes is a fourth. Now we can get started labeling. We'll start at zero fourths, then one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, and four fourths. We can see four fourths is equal to one whole. Now continue this pattern. What is two holes equal to? Well, if you keep going, we have 5 fourths, 6 fourths, 7 fourths, and 8 fourths. 2 wholes is equal to 8 fourths. What is 3 wholes equal to? Well, if you keep the pattern going, you find 3 wholes is equal to 12 fourths. Good work. Now let's practice with a different number line. First, identify what fraction does each dash represent? Well, you can see each whole number, it's been split into 3 pieces. So each dash is one-third. Knowing this, what should the labels of my whole numbers be? Well, you start at zero-thirds, and then you can see one whole, it's equal to three-thirds. Two holes, it's equal to six-thirds. And three holes, it's equal to nine-thirds. Four holes, that's going to be twelve-thirds. All right, now it's time for you to practice on your own. Label the whole numbers on this number line using fractions. First you see each whole is split into five pieces, so each of these dashes is one-fifth. Knowing this, we can go ahead and label. We get one whole is five-fifths, two holes is ten-fifths, and three holes is fifteen-fifths. Now here's your last problem for this video. Label the whole numbers on this number line using fractions. Well, you can see each whole number has been split up into six pieces, so these dashes are sixths. Knowing this, we can start labeling and get that one whole is six sixths, two holes is twelve sixths, and three holes is eighteen sixths. Great work! Now you know how to write whole numbers as fractions using a number line. That's all for now, but stay tuned for next time.